More than 180 Filipinos stranded and affected by the uh, pandemic were repatriated in Thailand. Ian Celada was at the scene. Take a look. So what did come? 183 Filipinos in Phuket and neighboring provinces in Thailand joined a repatriation flight organized by the Philippine Embassy in Bangkok in partnership and with the assistance of the Filipino communities in Phuket. Uh, ang Phuket po ay uh, roughly 900 kilometers away from uh, from Bangkok. So yun yung isang challenge, no? Tapos, uh, you know, it's a 13-hour ride, no? Uh, and because flights are not, you know, not yet normal, no? we we uh, we traveled by land. The embassy team traveled by land to Phuket to make sure that we are here on time, no? We're here to uh, be of service to our repatriates, our Filipinos in Phuket who have been waiting for so long uh, for uh, for a, a flight back home. Uh, nauna na po kasi ang uh, the first three flights, uh, nauna po ay ang Bangkok. No? Merong iilan from Phuket who were on those flights, but uh, the, greater, uh, the great majority of uh, Filipinos in Phuket uh, were under lockdown for two months here. And so they missed the opportunity to go home for the first three flights. That's uh, two government repatriation flights and uh, a flight chartered uh, by uh, a Filipino Thai company in back home that we helped uh, facilitate. So uh, the situation is that uh, for for the next month, wala pa rin pong, uh, international flights uh, uh, out of Thailand, no? Uh, merong iilan siguro, but only repatriation flights are are viable at the uh, at the moment. That that's why uh, the Philippine government's repatriation program, as our uh, beloved Secretary of Foreign Affairs Tedor Locsin Jr. says, continues to uh, to uh, be on uh, uh, on on uh, in service for our uh, stranded Kababayans abroad, not just in Thailand, of course, but also in other countries. So, ako yung nagpapasalamat sa ating uh, Filipino community here in Thailand because they are the ones who actually, you know, uh, kept following up for uh, for this, uh, you know, for this flight to happen. The Filipinos here uh, work as, you know, as uh, uh, employees in hotels and resorts. And we all know that all around the world, uh, the tourism uh, sector has been really adversely affected by the pandemic and uh, such is the same situation here so we have uh, you know the, the loss of jobs of our kababayans uh, uh, and that's why uh, you know even if there are you know there are flights very very few flights uh, available out of Thailand via the Middle East or via Seoul ang mahal mahal po so uh, this is their only you know, this is your only hope, really, to be able to go home. So we have realized that hope today. Uh, hopefully, um, uh, um, in the next few weeks, we can uh, continue uh, serving our Kababayans with, with flights, with repatriation flights. Uh, of course, that is only possible with the partnership uh, of our uh, Philippine government agencies back home, as well as the Filipino communities in the different provinces here in Thailand. So maraming salamat po at uh, mabuhay po tayo sa uh, nagbigay sa amin ng pag-aasa na makauwi kami lahat. Sa mga tumulong sa amin, nag-asikaso, uh, governments and the people na tumulong kay Ms. Lea and kay Ms. Sheena na nag-asikaso sa amin lahat dito. Maraming maraming salamat kasi uh, hindi kayo nag-give nag up tapos hindi rin kayo nag, uh, nagdalawang isip na tulungan pa at maghanap pa ng maraming uh, tao na matutulungan para makauwi.
members receive an email stating do's and don'ts once they arrive at Illinois at Kino International. This repatriation flight might be the end of their journey here in Thailand, but definitely will give hope and restart a new normal life together with the family. Reporting from Phuket, Thailand, this is Ian Silana, and we live to some times.